wanted to make this video of my chicken coop um, whenever I got here this area of the property it's five acres total but this area was just loaded with junk and pretty much still is but I just didn't have a whole lot of time with this moving and trying to organize everything to get every piece of the property in order but I did get this built um, the building itself was here the overhang there on their run was there already too thankfully so that made that a little easier I enclosed the run I built that little door right there all this is pretty much all scrap that I found around here it was here when we moved in um, that blackboard down there was part of a dresser drawer of mine that broke um, and this brown wood that looks pretty nice was there I just cut it all down cobbled it together um, the chicken wire is the only thing throughout the whole build that I had to buy but that was just to enclose this and make sure that nothing got in I wanted to be able to come out here at night as well even though they don't they stay inside but they stay open constantly at least in here I let them run before but the one of my dogs she got a hold of two of them and so they're gone now but um, I've got three things for water one stays out here um, and I cut a hole in this building and there was three or well actually there was quite a few windows that but I saved three of them um, and I put them in here um, or, or put this one in here rather and close the extra area off so that they can't just run throughout the whole building I just kind of wanted to keep a little bit of storage space uh, basically making the building multifunctional so uh, making the best out of what I got so uh, windows in there upside down of course it can be pushed up to be closed um, and I do do that sometimes there's been a couple occasions where one got out and I had to chew the other ones inside and close the window and leave the door open. There's just a lot of uh, other things around here like um, raccoons and um, there's some coyotes. I've seen a coyote in my backyard so I um, don't, don't really want to let them run I guess. They come in at night. Everybody knows that but um, anyways I had to put this door on here which was here also it's all glass I haven't washed the glass yet but um, I built these stairs or this step rather so that it's not some huge deal to get in plus my wife comes out here sometimes and she's pregnant so easier for everybody um, what I first started out with um, was building just the one area which you could see it right here so, and I went all the way across and I decided that I, I didn't have enough room if I wanted to have close to 20 chickens because they do all come in here at night. Right now they're all in here so it's kind of weird but um, there's another water dish, there's a water dish. I've got this gigantic one here um, and then I've got another smaller feeder here. I buy the ones I step on and it turns on the top so that they don't like to camp out there and poop all over it and these water dishes are made so that they can't poop in there but they do they poop in there non-stop anyway so I added on this left side where I'm scanning to this whole area for the middle sized chickens right after they were done in the brooder um, they would come in here but now I've decided that I'm done with the smaller chickens that I just don't have enough room I've got 17 of them now um, and so I, I basically took out that wall right there so it's completely open and they have now they're all running I just did that today and they're all throughout here um, I got my nesting boxes here that was an old headboard for a waterbed so I just cut it into three sections and closed it off did what I needed to do put some hay in there so that they can lay some eggs in there hopefully they will not 100% sure that the design is as easy as it needs to be um, but these things can jump really high so hopefully when they're ready to lay an egg it won't be much for them to just jump in there it's about uh, eight or nine inches for them to get in there um, and that's it I put this wood flooring in which is completely demolished um, but it it looked nice there's one of the boards too because I just put it in here because it was just already here and um, there was some holes in the in the, the wood flooring that was already down there so put that in there too so all this stuff was free all this green wire here was here 
Alrighty, so I built this one completely entirely out of stuff that I found laying around the property. Um, over here in this area, well, let's see if I can, there we go. There was, uh, there's still a bunch of wood piled in over there. So, I haven't burned it yet. I'm just trying to wait until uh, all the grass is gone, so I'll probably, that's going to be a next year project. Right before it gets real warm and everything starts growing again. Um, so, I just want to make sure I got all the wood and stuff out of there that I need. So, thanks for watching my video.